that phone ring first. Steve, August Falter Roven Shaw, Goody, Sihi, Kanish, Skin, Skull, Kirky, Oraha, Egg, Allianz. And in Sintehe Shaw, a mind, Ryan Kuig, Ta, Akabolog, August Kilbonan, Egimut. A Falter Rove, you're very welcome to the Skin, Skull finals in Parky Kiev, and it's sponsored by Allianz. And this is the Ryan Kuig final between Akabolog and Kilbonan. For now, Bolagar Dus. Ever hear Donna Reardon? Ever do Alice Hall? Ever a three and joint captain Lisa Carey Martin? Ever a car Chloe Parrott? Ever a Cuig Max McCarthy? Ever a Shea Don Long? Ever a shocked and joint captain Michael Toomey? Ever a hawk Grace Connell? Ever a de Jack Deneen? Ever a Hindia Killian Toomey? Dodiog Natalie Martin? Three Diog Caitlin Lyons? Cardiog Anya Duff? Cuig Diog Joey Carey Martin? Shea Diog Donica Kelleher? Huck Diog Samuel Horgan? Nay Diog Daniel Horgan? Feha Adam Foley, Fahin Juliet Looney, Feha Do Sean Toomey, August Feha Carr Owen Deneen. Fern Kilbonan, Ibrahim James Coleman, Ibrahim Do Jack Phelan. No, sorry, lads, would you hold your position still? Ibrahim 3 Elliot Phelan. Ever a car, PJ Cooper. Ever a Kuig, Ailish Blake. Ever a Shea, Noah O'Callaghan Conlon. Ever a shocked and captain, Joe Bruin. Ever a hawked, Fergal O'Leary. Ever a Nay, Tigley Han. Ever a De, Hannah Kelleher. Hindia, Ryan Downey. Dodia, Quiva White. Tridia, TJ O'Hara. Cardiog Alex Corrigan, Kuidiog Kelly O'Connell, Shadiog Shane Toomey, Shockdiog Lucas Mackey, Hockdiog Sean Murphy, Nadiog Luke Creedon, Feha Aoife Kavanagh, Fahin Cody McDaid, Feha Do Aoife Kelly. Now this game is 15 minutes a half. Nine aside, 15 minutes a half, nine aside, and the rapor is Michael Collins from Clannock Hill. Ramil Margaret.
Right, Fords Road, Ely Gulayer, the Chehish Canis Show, Inyo, Idir and Kilbanan, August Akabolos. Kilbanan's home club would be Clodo, and Ahabolok itself would have the local club that would be fed by the schools of Kotra, Ahabolok, and Rylan. And uh, yeah, anyway, it's a very exciting start to this now, and today we're, we're really eagerly looking forward to this final between two outstanding schools that have had a very um, competitive campaign so far going forward. Here we have Bea Bullock putting an early attack there by Ivory Hindio. Um, Killian Toomey. Killian Toomey was, was blocked down. But that said, Bea Bullock are going on the attack early on. And this, this attack, if it proves fruitful, would mean they could have a score in the opening minute. Kilbanan are really holding firm here. Great defence here by Kilbanan. Bea Bullock driving the ball forward. And is that Ivor Fekahar and um, Owen Deneen trying to get the ball in? Unfortunately, he um, overcarried the ball and it was the free out, I'm sure, that Kilbanan would be the sigh of relief. I have Bullock definitely um, kind of putting this game up to Kilbanan. Kilbanan now, I'm sure, will be led by their captain, though. Um, Joe Bruin. Joe Bruin now will have a, and his team will have a, a very, I'd say, competitive response here to this. Beautiful pick up there by Ivor Hot Fergal O'Leary. Fergal O'Leary's carrying the ball forward the whole way. He was going to start, he, got, he nearly put, got it all the way, I'd say, from midfield, went about 30 or 40 yards, and he's earned himself a free RA tour today, Michael Collins from Clannock Hilty. As are our Lions boys as well today. Um, very excited about this final here in Spina Skull. Nice to be back in finals after three years. Now here we have Fergal taking the first three and a beautiful point there by Fergal and effortlessly struck it over at the bar. Now again as I said it's, it's a Skina Skull final day, the Allianz finals and we're very grateful to our sponsors here and of course the impeccable conditions here at Parky Queen. This is where memories are made and some of the first memories for children in finals have been played here in Parky Queen. So we're very grateful to County Board for allowing us to have the fixture here. Now, um, number 11, Killian Toomey sent the ball in for a ball of boy again to um, a young man, small in stature, but big and hard. Underneath, there's a tussle there. Um, there are about six or seven players. We'll see who come out with it. And coming out with a come to me anyway was Ibrahim Diog there, Killian Toomey. Killian Toomey, though, um, was blocked down the ball. And coming out was that Ibrahim Kuig, Ailish Blake. Ailish Blake, the primary game representative of Kilbanan, had the honour done in the red jersey. This play forward here for Abbollock and two players mark him. And coming out there, and a, a very important defence there was Grace O'Connell. I'm sure Grace has managed to clear what was the most almost certain score there for Kilbanan. Now, again, interesting tussle here in the background between Iver Ado, Alice Howe, wearing a defensive number playing in the forward line, and getting the lovely struck, ball struck in there by Jack Deneen. And again, a relieving clearance there, albeit low against the ground is Noah O'Callaghan and Colin. Now, and earning a free there is Grace O'Connell. Grace O'Connell seems to be very busy, taking a lot of knocks and getting into the action very early on and playing a very defensive role for her team. A beautiful shot up and over by free taker for Aha Bullock. Even a shot, Michael Toomey and our joint captain today with Lisa Carey Martin. That's a great start for Ahabolok, had settled the nerves as well. So we have um, Ahabolok, Kuleen Awan, August Kilbanan, La Kuleen Ella. So partially they're co scoring it. Ball is going deep into the defence there, running across it. Collected there for Kilbanan was the forward. Iver nearly succumbed. Keahito. Isn't it lovely to see in the dual hurling final that you have both girls and boys, such as the, the respect that's had now for both girls and boys? In, um, in, in both schools. Now, again, fierce tussle going on here at the far right. Bullock are putting the defence for Kilbanan under great pressure, but Jack Phelan, Elliot, Elliot Phelan, the two brothers, and PJ Cooper are doing very, very well to, um, to hold that forward line for Al Bullock at bay. And unfortunately, that one went to the left and wide. Now, on Nadarish Massamhain and Kulbarda, James Coleman, Puck Loisa, old Seamus, good deal on the part of the Iverda shot, Joe Bruno could on Captain and up into there going through. I think was Captain or Ivory Hain Jock Natarish Kehe. Massim Hain, which it was a Killian too, yeah, Killian got a free and stepping up to take the free is Jack Deneen now for a bullock. Jack Deneen taking his time, he's, take, 
stating himself. It's a fairly direct free, and yes, and a lovely point there by Jack Janine for Al Bullock. So Al Bullock now have managed to go one point ahead. So Bachelin to Acha Bullock, August Kulin, a wine, the kill banan. And now, again, as I said, very exciting. Not even five minutes to play in this 15 minutes a half. And interesting, the second puck out there, now going up to that corner, the back line. And there's a. Oh, unfortunately, there's Lisa Carey Martin. We're getting a bit physical there. And I'm sure our Rator just have to explain to Lisa that, you know, in Skina Skull, we try to be as fair as possible. And the girl from Kilbanan took a really awkward fall there and she was injured. Now, when all is said and done, it is final day and spirits, high spirits and excitement can get to us. But it is interesting in the opening exchange with five minutes that the majority of the action, and well done to our in Roar, she's after getting up again. Mahu, unfortunately, it's hard to see with the ponytails, uh, um, the girls, but well done to her to get up and keep going for her club and her school, her parents and her teachers. So, unfortunately, the free ticker there, Ivra Fox. Um, Fergal O'Leary, Fergal, has the point already. Disappointed himself there, but you know, there's a breeze as well. Very hard to judge, taking freeze with the breeze. Ball has landed nicely there for either a dead Jack Denny. Coming back very quickly to compete against Jack Denny was either a shock there. Joe Broon, the captain. Joe Broon has done very well there to um, reduce the impact Jack would have made if he'd gotten away with the ball. Now, collecting the ball here now is um, with a very effortless strike of the ball, but beautiful all the same was the forward for Aha Bullock, Ivrahim Jock, Killian Toomey. Aha Bullock now have three points from play, and it's very interesting now. Killian has a point, and we have um, a, a scoreline now of three points for Aha Bullock and point one point for Kilbanan. Looks like Aha Bullock has settled the easier of the two, but then Aha Bullock are very fortunate. They have the advantage of the wind and collecting the ball and rounding the player receiver her shots there, Michael Toomey, the joint captain, one of the brothers, and Michael has earned another free. Aha Bullock, of course, would be hoping to capitalise on the advantage of the wind and would need to have quite a sizeable lead if they were going to match um, the Kilbanan when in this match. I think Kilbanan had fought this record coming into this final and taking his free and opting to take the point is Jack Deneen. Jack Deneen has taken his second point here now today. A very interesting game. Both teams are being very intelligent with the use of their play. We have very few wides here, which is um, showing that this could end up in quite a high-scoring game at the end. So here we have now seven and a half minutes of play midway through the first half. And an excellent puck out. Really inch perfect found Tidy Han. Unfortunately, the tight didn't get to do anything more with it. He was marked there effortlessly by the, the back, the defender there for Abolo. Abolok really are settling very well. Lovely clearance there by the Abolok coming into the forward line again. A very busy back line here for Kilbanan. But fair juice to him. Jack Phelan, Elliot Phelan, and PJ Cooper are keeping that dangerous forward line very quiet. Now, trying to come through with the ball was either a day for Abolok. Jack Deneen, I wonder, was there a deflection? I think there is a deflection, yes. So there's another free now for Abolok. Again, with the wind behind them, one would expect if the ball was on target, it will go over the bar and Al Bullock will have another point, point for them. Jack Deneen, in fairness, is, is to, has been excellent at his freeze today, very cool, very calm, and um, the measure of, of the, his play has been the fact that Al Bullock have managed to get all frees from play so far. Will Jack get this one over? Unfortunately, the wind carried the ball for Jack, and um, we have now those still have a score like four points for Al Bullock and Colleen Awad to Kilbanan, and I know Kilbanan are looking to add to that scoreline. Lovely puck out there by Jack Feeling. Jack Feeling again favouring that wing, and I wonder why. I see it's because if you're a hook there, Fergal O'Leary is waiting for it. Fergal has earned himself a free there. He had to be marked by two players from Abolog to earn his free, but he earned it, didn't he take his own free? Unfortunately, the wind has carried it again. He's very disappointed with himself, but I, I know that Fergal with one point will add to that tally. Very difficult for a free taker to measure and um, how far the wind will carry the ball. Lovely puck out there from John Lurieton. John Lurieton sent the ball there to his teammate in, in the middle of the field. Now, and um, um, Kilbanan have managed to hold up the play there. It's closer to the Abolo goal line. There's a throw in ball there. 
secondly into the throwing ball there was um, Iver shock for both teams take the toss and Avola seem to have it have the measure of it is Killian Toomey Killian seeing it up to his Iver shock Michael Toomey the joint captain and um, um, Kilbanan though great to finish by Kilbanan there to keep the ball out they really have settled very well in the back line and have absorbed an awful lot of pressure there now ball going into space for Owen Denis Owen has it Owen was got it unfortunately got a knock there from the defender a nice I would call a soft free but still when you're um, when you're forward you do take a lot of knocks there and thank you very much I'm sure was, says Killian to me or Jack Deneen rather Jack will take it and Jack is again off to put the ball over the bar he's electing now to let the wind carry the ball and our bullock have been up a nice size of a lead for themselves now five points to one it's a cushion but a one goal from Kilbanan and that and that will then turn the whole game around taking the puck out again is Jack feeling Jack again beautiful ball into space and tossing between two players and boy with Grace O'Connell I think she was pushed on the back there she's trying to stand over the ball to hold on to it and she's earned a free a nice free they give um, the Bullock defence now a bit of a breather there's a lovely toss of there on between those two players in that part of the field taking the free and striving it up and into space and using the wind they have but was their Bullock free taker there collecting the ball there's there for our Bullock trying to make space but lost the ball Kilbanan coming out Kilb a beautiful so and um, beautiful soul with their lovely ground stroke there by the defender for Kilbanan ball's going into space going first to it is Max McCarthy for our ball. Max has tried to clear it, but two players going in. Alice or Grace O'Connell is coming out with Grace's pocket out, giving a relieving clear. Inch perfect to her teammate. And soloing there then was Everett Three, Lisa Carey Martin, the joint captain, which had been two strikes of ball from two females. Our bullocks in the ball from one and side the field to the other. And again, Aha Bullock trying to drive fight from it. Now, unfortunately, Lisa. Lisa Carey and Fred is in the tosses in the war today and has given away a free for a bit over physical contact. Both girls now are getting themselves ready again you now and um, I think Lisa's come out the worst of that. Soon we're just waiting at the free taker for Kilbanan. Joe Brun, the captain, is just going to um, take a breather there. The moon tour, Michael Maher for Ahabolo is just making sure his player is ready to continue. Joe Brun is settling himself there. Joe taking it free, he struck an excellent ball against the wind and trying to stop it there, the ball of defence Grace Wong trying to pick it, getting support from Marie Vera Cahar though and that's the guy coming through the wall is Joe Brune, Joan has got a free a free, a free was given away there and that I think would be a nice tap over free now for Joe, Joe has done very well there now to earn himself a free he's working very hard for his team, trying to make sure they are competitive and is that Fergal O'Leary I think Fergal win for his goal and in the wind and as I said a goal would make a difference here and Kilbanan have, have taken the goal now a bit of tossing going on there um, in the, in the defence there between two players I think it's between Grace O'Connell Ivor Hooks and Ivor Hook Fergal O'Leary I'm afraid Fergal isn't being a gentleman here to this lady she could it's competition and coming through with the ball here is Ivor Hinder. Yes! And what would be done on one side would be done on another. Killian Toomey has gotten a goal, very, very valuable goal there. And Ahab Bullock have maintained that lead. Taking the puck out there is James Coleman. And that I don't think was expected by Joe Brune is coming through there. He's trying to shoulder there. Ivor hooked Fergal O'Leary rather. Fergal is tossing with Grace O'Connell. Grace O'Connell come through. Like in fairness to Grace, it's hard for any girl to stand up to the competition of a boy because man for man, physical for physical, like you know, but a great credit to her. And coming to here is another great defender here for Kilbanan. Is that Ivor Kui Gaelish Blake, the primary game star for Kilbanan? Coming out is Donal O'Rear Don. Donal has the ball, he's making sure he can clear it. Donal is thinking into space to his teammate. Very important that Donal. He had the ball with interest. Oh, there's a shoulder there into the face for the Abolic player. Unfortunately, by Ivor, though, Kilbanan, I suppose, are getting very frustrated. They're a very physical, competitive team. Poor Jack cannot understand why he got the blow there, but he did take the child into the face with the helmet. So, being responsible, Moontor Michael Collins has to make sure the child is okay. We have to make sure for neck injuries. The Moontor for Abolic, Michael Maher, is checking up on. And the player there just make sure he, it's safe for him to play on. 
and the Moon Tory. Great credit to Ava O'Driscoll and Louise Roach for Kilbonan that they've prepared their team for today as well. So those will be delighted to have such stars coming through from Kilbonan into the club um, scene. So here we're getting ready to take our free again now and our player is ready to continue his ever shots there. Michael Toomey, Michael Sue Toomey gets a fantastic point for join captain putting his name on the scoreboard. So I have Bullock now with nearly 15 minutes played now. We're at, almost at half time. I have Bullock, Kula Roy, not the Shea Kuleen. Kilvanan, Kula Roy is Kuleen Award. And a lovely pick up there. Great pick with Eilish Blake. Eilish had to be marked by two. She was up into by two players. But she'll say, thank you very much. I'll take that free. But it's it's hard when you take knocks like that to keep going as well. But well done to her. She seems to be getting up. And Lisa Carey Martin and Michael Toomey, I'm sure, are very sorry for that. Coming back now is Fergal O'Leary to take a free yet again. Fergal O'Leary, Ivor Hooks. He's steady himself. He knows how important this free is. Beautiful, effortless strike. And over the bar was Fergal O'Leary with that point. Ironically enough, like though, it, it's a shame I say on half time, I'll probably be regretting giving away that free there. We've um, 15 and nearly 16 minutes to play now with injury time and all through the, the moon total. Lisa Carey Martin, she unfortunately failed to control. I think that could be, uh, Bullock could be sorry for that. No, it's okay. Coming to the rescue is the teammate. I think uh, Bullock would want to not do as much over a ladder play. And um, Kilbanan, they're coming. Now, Chelsea for the ball there. Four players are using the ground hardly. They're swinging into it. Lisa Carey Martin trying to send it forward onto her teammate. And the breath. Our ref Michael Collins is blown for half time. So here we are at half time. Uh, Bullock, as I said, still on. Cool of wine up a shake, cool in. Up the skin went on. Cool of wine up a scarf, cool in. Exciting times ahead for us in this alley on Skinner's Gold final. It's all to pay for in the second half.
Oh. Right, that all right. No. Exciting times here first now with the Skina Skull final. Either Akhapolo playing in the green and white against the Clodub School of Kilbanan. Very interesting first half. Uh, Bullock certainly took advantage of the wind in the first half and um, had racked up a score line that has them um, four points ahead. But the Kilbanan will have the wind in the second half, so it'll be a very interesting second half. Kilbanan, as we know, with primary game stars, etc., like are really um, a stiff opposition for this uh, Bullock squad. It's been a highly competitive, very physical match, very enjoyable match. Very interesting to see that Ab Bullock has females playing the back line against those primary game stars and uh, the excellent forward line that Kilpanan has. And it seems to have worked from the first half anyway, especially with Grace O'Connell having a very interesting tackle there in the back line and keeping that back line very strong and firm. Will it pay off for them in the second half with that wind? It's hard to tell. Starting off very quickly in a way is um, for Kilpanan in Resi Verschee. And pushing forward, Noah or Callaghan Colin, sending the ball down, trying to put pressure, though, but coming back and collecting Eversley is, um, if I think that, is that Eilish Blake for Kilbanan? Eilish, that beautiful effortless stroke to strike the ball. But Cindy back in against that ball up there, into space, though, and coming to the little stature of Owen Deneen. Owen Deneen's being very competitive, We've got a score in the first half, but our ball up now are going to find it very hard to get a free. A nice free, though, thank you very much, says the forward for Aha Bullock, picking himself up, he's not injured at all. And here we have, so Jack Deneen, Jack Deneen has got ample scores in the first half, free taker as well. He got, I think, about three, three or four points in the first half. Here's taking another free. Jack will be sorry to let that go now. Ab Bullock can't afford to make any mistakes like that against the wind, but she, you know, he's only, he's only a youngster. He'll rally, he'll get another chance. Now, so tucking the ball out there is James Coleman. James Coleman getting ready now. James weighing up his options. His puck outs were excellent in the first half. He really was finding his own players. Batting the ball down with ease is Grace O'Connell. Grace O'Connell, like, unfortunately, the ball. She's coming back again. And there she is. She's competing very well. She's picked that ball. I'd say she'd pick it out of your eye. Grace is clearing the ball against wicked pressure there from Star from Kilbanan for O'Leary. An interesting toss there against the two number eights. Now, and the Kilbanan coming forward, a beautiful strike by Noah Callan Cole is in the ball in. Again, again, another player that needs two players to mark him. And Al Bullock really getting stuck in a one handed tackling there, I'm afraid for Al Bullock. If you're a shock there, no, it's okay. Clearing the ball out is. Yes, again, we've an Al Bullock clear, clearing the ball out into space, but what can be done on one side, done on another. Beautiful solo run here. He's steadying himself up, seeing the ball down. Fierce pressure, Don Laurierton. Don Laurierton really did very well to block that. And he's. Sent the ball unfortunately over the line as a deflection, but I think that was a very important save there by um, Jonah because the wind is carrying the ball, it's going to be swirling around, and that would have given Kilbanan only a point of a difference if they've gotten the goal there. So, free taken for Kilbanan here now, settling himself nicely. And we have um, Fergal, Fergal O'Leary here now, he already has a goal and two points to his credit, solo scoring, which are, if one player can do it. It's a team behind him, that helps him get there. A lovely point there by Fergal. Fergal now has brought the score for Kilbanan, a goal and three points, Tabolo's goal and six points. See, the, the, they're easy way into that lead, that puck out there from John, well intended going as far as the number 10. Oh, that's physical play there. And on um, uh, Eilish Blake, unfortunately, Eilish hoped that Moont or Ray, or Ray Tor wouldn't see it, but I'm afraid Jack didn't he got his free there now. And he's, he's joined, the joint captain, Michael Toomey, seen the ball. Joint, definitely, he got that ball and put a fleet here well behind, as we said. Collecting the ball there enough. Oh, fantastic block down there. And a foot for the forward. And a try again is Killian Toomey going for the second time. Killian trying to get the ball in. He's trying, to, he's trying to get around it. He can't belly dance around the ball. Getting support there, if possible, from Donald Long. Donald, but unfortunately, our ball have lost possession there. And coming out with the ball and getting the advantage from our hoping to get our advantage was Ryan Toomey, I think Ryan Toomey got the free there. Now, like, Aha Bullock really are um, setting very well into this game, and they got a nice um, advantage score, like, but you can see Kilbanan are finding their reason here now. Kilbanan are definitely taking advantage, controlling the back line. A big, high, lofting ball there, with the wind behind it, and it deflected there by Michael Toomey. Um, so Kilbanan have another free, and we know how um, Fergal O'Leary has been absolutely faultless 
bar his first three, he scored everything else, including his school. So I would imagine that Fergal would get this as well with the win behind him. Now, it is a very interesting tussle, very physical game. And, and it's a game that, that's full of commitment, determination and heart. No, no school here wants to leave this behind them. And again, Fergal, uh, that beautiful strike of him, from him, another point from Fergal. He really is a joy to watch taking his freeze. I can imagine he'd have a wonderful future in the Cork jersey. Now, and a man taking over from Donald O'Rourke would be Donald O'Rear Don. Donald O'Rear Don here now. Didn't take his time trying to find the perfect place to drop the ball. The ball dropped in front there um, of Bondanit and competing for there. The players for a ball up um, with the Kilvin Arm players. Um, collecting the ball great there is Killian Tumi. Killian's tolling. Killian's going to try and walk it in. Will Killian? Oh, Killian was, was up injured. I have to say, a ball up taking a lot of knocks here. Kill Banana are very physical, determined. They almost have an aggressive style of play about them. And you'd wonder if all those knocks to their ball of players will wear them down eventually. And they might lose that um, energy and drive that in them. But the, all the same, it is, an, it is a nice free. It's right in front of the goals. Will Jack Deneen opt to go all the way or will he take the soft, um, easy option, which is get it over the bar? Jack has gone for it. the goal! Jack wins it. What? One can do on another. Not, not the press is doing it on the side. And here we have Jack getting that goal. That gives that goal a goal. A little bit more of a cushion. Maybe helps them have a bit more confidence going forward. We still have 10 minutes to go. Coming through with the ball. There is that. Grace O'Connell. Grace unfortunately overcarried the ball. And uh, she's, she, um, she's given the free away there now. So Kim Banan is saying thank you very much for that free. And they're going to move. They're going to move forward now and drive forward into their Bullock back line. They really want to get a, a response now to that score from Maha Bullock. And the scoreline of two goals and six points for Bullock. One goal and four points with just over six minutes of play. The ball again going, going right into the square, going all the way. And very, very well done by Max McCarthy there for Bullock. He shepherded over the end line. And John Lerritton is um, looking out for options, trying to land the ball as inch perfect as possible. He's going to actually drive it into the wind and going for the ball there. Is that young player, Owen Janine? Owen, Owen just fell forward there, but the defender for Kilbanan, Elliot Feeling, Elliot Feeling's what coming for the ball again now. And unfortunately, uh, an injury there to the foot was number seven. And um, Joe Brune, the captain. And coming back is Ailish Blake now to take the free. Ailish seems to have had a real settling influence on the defence for Kim Brennan since she was brought back. Ailish hints in that ball up and over the bar. Well, credit to Kim Brennan. They have talent to plenty when it comes to taking frees. That point is a great point, I'd say, with the win behind. She took it from beyond midfield. So scoreline now is two goals. And six points for Bollock and one goal and five points for Kilbanan. Kilbanan are eating into that that um that lead. And then uh, Bollock trying, I think there's a bit of indecision there, trying to work his way through. Is the forward there for uh, Bollock and Killian Tumi and Killy and the Ali there? Oh great defence there by um, Kilbanan to clear it. Our oh, Red Hall has called the playback. He just wants to make sure that the player for Kilbanan. Is, um, is, 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 free, is free to continue. I'm sure the supporters on both sides are enjoying this spectacle enormously. A ball of coming in a screen of white with flags flying, and then we can hear the energetic um, choruses coming from the Kilbanan supporters, enthusiastically supporting their team. And here we have our player, I think, was it our cool Bora? Um, James Coleman. James, I think, is up fit and ready to continue. The moon tour, Ava Driscoll. Um, has made sure that he's fine. The, the magic spray or the magic holy water and the child is fit to continue. Now we're just over halfway, or we're going in the last quarter of this um, match. And the way our way to our Michael Collins is to throw the ball in here now. And very close to Kilvin and um, the goal mouth, but that same, it's not that close after I suppose. Owen oh, Janine has got the ball. He's, he's a small, his smallest stature would be can hatch. And Owen has earned a free, he was pushed there. Like, to be fair to him, I'd say it would be easy to knock him down anyway. But that's a very important free, and our free take for ball up now, Jack Janine. And I'm sure now he's going to hope to, to make sure of it this time. It's at a bit of an angle. Oh, he passed it to his teammate. Going to number seven and striking the ball up and oh, defended and blocked. What a fantastic.
fantastic save by when I thought it was nearly over the bar. I had Bullock, great intention, but unfortunately it didn't pay off. What a, what a feed in there for me, Vohane, to up there for a Bullock. Here we have, and ball into the forward line. Owen Deneen is trying to hold the player off, and unfortunately he did free, give a free there. Um, to the, uh, the Kilvin Ann player deserved it. She had to work, he had to work very hard there. Elliot feeling, Elliot has the ball. And we have Owen Deneen, unfortunately not well. A Bullock seems to be falling at every hand's turn. And... Um, I, it, it just is, it's a very interesting match because I would have imagined that at this stage now the wind wouldn't have such a bearing. I wasn't prepared for it, but we can see the wind really helped to Bullock in the first half. But our Bullock has managed to add to that scoreline and just stay ahead by a minimum of two scores. Of course, we four scores at four points. And with Kilbanan have not allowed this to dent their enthusiasm, their, their determination, their persistence. And Kilbanan still, I think, are a serious threat in this match if our Bullock don't stay away. Now, collecting the ball there was Iver 3, Lisa Carey Martin. She's going in a solo one. She can keep going the ball. Unfortunately, Lisa failed to do anything with it. She lost possession, but it's still there in that Bullock um, in the forward line. And Lisa has it again. She's trying to do something else with it. She's the captain, of course. She's trying to lead by example. Uh, Bullock are doing very, very well here now. They're managing to hold the ball down. They're eating into the time for Kilbanan. It's only 15 minutes after all, with five minutes left. Now Kilbanan have a free. Kilbanan with the wind are going to drop this, I imagine, right into the square there for their forwards to do something with it. And that's it. It's going shopping. Going, putting up the hand of Archie. Didn't get it. The defender there for our ball. It's very important. He was shocked, Michael Toomey. Grace O'Connell is coming out. Grace O'Connell, majestic run. Beautiful solo run. Carrying off the field right into space. But unfortunately, only as far as the waiting to paint on the other. And what Grace does in one end, we have doing the other. Fantastic back. Going to Elish Big. Elish, unfortunately, almost got into her hand and then was up ended. But sure, I suppose she's such a threat and a danger. What more could you do? Says the apologetic Killian Tooney. But that's a free now. We know what Kilbanan are capable of. Ailish is going to take her own free. Will Ailish let the wind take the ball and carry it over the bar for her? Or will she try and go for the score? Ailish looks like she's going to take the safe option and she's taken the point. Isn't it such a joy to watch children play a match like this and see a skill level that you'd expect of adults? There is definitely stars here on both teams. People you'd expect to see playing for Cork in the years to come. And it's lovely to see girls being so competitive at this level as well. Of course, like a mixed school, and everyone is entitled to a chance. Everyone deserves a fair crack of the whip. Joel Laurier, he's been a very busy young man here today. The ball is going in, up to the player here, Fran Bullock, and driving it forward. As that Bullock player coming to them, now three players, Fran Bullock, only two for Kilbanan. And Lisa, Kerry Martin is coming out with the ball. Lisa really is. Is, is enjoying this final here today and coming as far as James Coleman. James there is clearing the ball under a bit of pressure, but he cleared it all the same. A ball again, come, trying to keep a bit of pressure on the ball again, the Kilbanan defence. Well done there, for, um, Kilbanan's in the ball up. Going as far as Ibrahim Diop for a ball up. Ibrahim Diop soloing in and trying to hit the ball and keep it going forward was Killian Toomey. Coming out, what a one handed pick there. Look at that for a level of skill there from Ivor Hux and Joe Broom. But Fergal O'Leary, Fergal O'Leary getting his two teammates. Fergal is coming and Fergal was pulled down, unfortunately. And pulled down by the ever vigilant players. Oh, a bullet! Oh, what a just block there! Coming to Grace O'Connell has it. Grace has to clear it. She has to clear it. She has the ball up. What great defending between the goalkeeper and the fullback for a ball up. That is equal to a score when it comes to this time, this close to the finishing time in the match. And Bullock are putting pressure again. Oh, Deneen is chasing the ball. And Bullock are two against the tree. You would expect Kilbanan to clear. Come here, Tick, send the ball over. And Bullock still the pressure. Put the ball in. There's the body on the line for Kilbanan. You have to credit Kilbanan. And unfortunately, Ab Bullock are blown for a free. Our rate always give you a free. The pool baller has been injured. I think you, I think. You have to say congratulations, Kilbanan. There were children, they put bodies in the way where a hurley should have been. And that is the measure of the heart and determination. They want this final so badly. Kilbanan have, have been coming from behind for a long time. They've been eating into that lead. There's only a goal between them. One cup of the ball. Our Aitor Michael Collins, of course, is going to allow that cool bar a chance to recover. It's not his first time down. I think it's the cool bar, if I'm right. 
but certainly it won't be his last time playing on this match. I know he'll recover and he'll return to the match. And he's being looked after by Louise Roach, a proud Ahabolic woman, I'm sure, with her loyalties today, though, with Kilbanan and Ava O'Driscoll as well. Now, I have to say, Ahabolic really have managed to keep their cool, keep their concentration. When children are this young and they get ahead, it's all it's often a seesaw and it's up and down between both teams, but our bullock are managing to hold on to the lead. A lead that's a very precious lead and Ailish Blake is not gonna let it go without a fight. Ailish there being being marked on forty by Grace O'Connell. Grace has given away the free. Grace was too physical on Ailish. Now, this is very important for Kilvin Ann. Ailish should pick herself up there. She's got an injury, but she's not gonna allow it hold her back at all. And Kilbanana having a very serious conference there. Who's going to take the free? Who is it? Is it Ailish has opted to take her own free? Here we have a female standing up and being, being reckoned. Ailish, I'd say, is going to have to go for the goal. Is she looking for someone loose? But Ailish is look, looking for someone loose and it's coming to Kilbanana. Kilbanana going for it. And they're going to go for the goal. Oh, it's blocked by Abolog. Great block there. Was that? I think it was Abolog pushing out. But Kilbanana coming again. Kilbanana. Here we have going once more. Passing the ball. Three for three, Elliot Finn, Elliot Finn the morning. This is fierce pressure for Abbott. Ailish, Ailish Blake going. Grace O'Connell has it. Grace is brushing too. Grace has to make a difference. Grace has beaten three players. She's beaten four players. She's still going. She's still going. She's beaten five players. This is what a team needs when you're trying to hold on to lead. Grace not only she beat the players, she scored a goal. Grace O'Connell has got the insurance goal for Abbott. That surely is the insurance goal. She went for There was no one behind, and Kilbanan are going to go, and there's goal for Kilbanan. Unfortunately, when Grace was missing, the goal went in, but they still have Grace's goal. What will Abolog do? What will they do? Jordan O'Reilly was keep the calm, keep the cool. We're in injury tie here for Abolog. One pop of ball. I knew this Kilbanan team would be dangerous. I knew they had more in them, and now they're telling us. No, here we have. Jack has to hold on to the ball. Fab ball against possession hurling here. They have to keep the ball off this side of the lead. Lisa Kerry North is healthy, but Kilbanan have their line to free. Kilbanan have kept their cool. They know you play to the final whistle. Ailish Blake is there. Ailish Blake is driving her players forward. She's sending them right into the forward line. We know what Ailish can do. Ailish will not go for a point. She's going to drop it. And Bollock are pulling everyone back. Kilbanan are driving everyone forward. Ailish is pulling to Ailish. And it's blocked and it's speared out again. And did the cut. Did the goal post save it. Did it. But a defender sent it out. Thank you very much. He's doing the win. There's a free in. And Bollock are giving away frees left, right and centre. Okay, and Bollock must keep their cool. They have the lead but they could lose it. And here we have that Bollock sent out a deflection there. That deflection is, could always be as good as the score. But then the pressure is still on. How much more pressure can our bullock absorb? Because this Kilbanan team have their tails up. They know, they know they have the measure. They're the team with the fourthest record coming into this final. They have never lost in, in this competition so far. So they know what it's like to win and they're still going for the win. But our bullock are going to hold on with their fingernails if they can. Here we have a dangerous lobbing ball. Who's going to block it? And it's going, it's gone wide. Oh, by the mercies of God, says our bullock, the holy water from the well. They've managed to hold on to it. Number seven, pick it out, and our bullock have won. They have managed to defeat Kim Banan. Kim Banan are in shock, they're heartbroken. This valiant team that came back from behind, that gave us a match to beat all finals. But our bullock, a team of heart, determination, and majestic all the ones remember Grace O'Connell's goal that gave him the insurance. But this was a team of more than one star. It was a team of stars that played from the gold rope right up to the forward line. Kill Banana equally talented. What a feast of talent is in Mosby. All I can say, this line here to Kui Galliance and final was both an honour and a privilege to watch. It's one for the history books. Co guard Casabolo. Commiserations, Kill Banana.
that collect get around off. Now to present the medals, we have two very special people. Firstly, we have John Allen, who went to school in Ahabolog and who has won, as you know, was a member of the Cork Three in a row team and he uh, has numerous all Ireland medals. And the man to help him is Alan Connolly, the Cork star today. So Alan, the best of luck next Saturday and hopefully we'll be hearing a lot more from you. And that you will also get an all Ireland medal this year. So Alan is presenting the medals now to Kilbanan. And John will present the trophy and medals to Fern Ahakbolog. We live, lads. <laughs> 